Yo, yo, I hope everyone's doing amazing. It's still kind of, you know what I'm saying, looking at the camera instead of me. It's still kind of weird. Anyways, today I'm going to talk about why I start my day off with personal development. Couple reasons. Reason number one, I've done on accident, unconsciously, my own little study of how I feel when I don't listen to personal development and I start my day off. So... Just a little background. I used to start my day off with personal development when I first got into it, when I first got into Herbalife back in, I got into Herbalife back in May, 2018. I didn't start my personal development journey until September of 2018. And I was listening to it crazy. I'm talking about an hour a day. I used to bike to school. So I would do 25 minutes personal development on my way to school, 25 minutes on my way back, 10 minutes while I was in the shower, 10 minutes while I was running on a treadmill. I'm talking about all day, yo. Like sometimes I'd listen to it more, sometimes I listen to it slightly less, but usually just an hour, anywhere from like an hour to hour and 30 minutes. I was doing that until December. I'm talking about like major growth in my mind, yo. Like it was ridiculous. And I kind of stopped doing it because I felt like that was the, the point in time where you, you're listening to personal development and then you start feeling like, all right, I'm good. And you're not understanding just yet that you need this forever you need it every single day you know what i'm saying so my days got a little worse got back into it fell off got back into it um i recently just got back into it like every every day but i'm cool like i'm not worried about what i didn't listen to i'm not worried about what i'm going to listen to i'm just worried about every day getting up and listening to it because i know the days now mind you i'm pretty much did my own study and this study's been going on for about a year and a half since september 2018 to january 2020 uh, February 2020. I noticed a, a significant difference in my day when I started off with personal development than if I don't. If I don't start off with personal development, I promise you this place that I'm in right now is cozy as ever. When I live with my grandfather, cozy as ever. Like no kids running around cool, especially here. I'm by myself. There's no one else here. I can wake up whenever I want. I still try to wake up at eight or nine wake up whenever I want. When I do wake up, it's not because someone woke me up. It's because my body sleep cycle was over and it said, yo, you got to get up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I swear this is the craziest thing. When you know you got to do something, your body will wake you up, yo. Like I had an alarm set for 730 the other day. No, no, it was, it was, uh, eight, it was, no, no, it was 815. I know this because the time I woke up was on, uh, it was 14 and I woke up at 814, yo. Not because the alarm. My body would my body somehow knew it was 8 14. And it was like, wake up. You're gonna have to wake up in a minute anyways. And it was crazy because like I had hella goals for that day. You know what I'm saying? Like when you have a purpose and when you have something that you gotta do and that you wanna do, and you just you just know you about to grind it out, like your body's like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's crazy, yo. But if I don't wake up with personal development, especially over here, y'all, I could I stay in bed. Um, when I first got back from Texas, I wasn't listening to personal development cause I was, you know, I was kind of going through it a little bit, having to move right when I got back, like, damn, now nah, I can't trust my family type thing. I'm just like, damn, yo, you feel me? Kind of trying to think like, why does that happen to me type thing? But you know, whatever, going through it type thing. And, you know, I got back into today. Today's the perfect example. I didn't want to do anything today. I didn't want to do anything. And I didn't know why, yo. And I'm thinking like, all right, I started learning Spanish from Duolingo. I was gonna keep it a secret, but I can't. I can't keep secrets to y'all. I was gonna. I was gonna. Uh, I wasn't gonna do nothing. Then I started doing the Duolingo thing. I'm like, yeah, let's go. Like, this is fun. You know what I'm saying I'm learning some Spanish, whatever. Learning new words, learning how to say things better. Um, and then I was like, what didn't I do, yo? And I write my days down. You know what I'm saying? I got my days written down right here, right here. What I gotta listen to what I have to eat, stuff for my business, um, other things. I have a whole section for other, like do the dishes for my mom, throw out the trash for my mom, clean up, organize, stuff like that. Um, stuff for like my fitness. My main categories are other, fitness, business, and nutrition. And so, you know, I write it down every day and I was looking like, what am I missing? And I saw what I had to listen to. I listened to four people every day. My personal development was an hour and something back then. Now I do it for two hours a day. I do 30 minutes less brown. 30 minutes, Mark, Les Brown is for personal development and motivation. Um, Mark Hughes is for my business development and motivation and business. Tony Robbins is another personal development thing. He's the top on my list right now because I, I, I and, and then Jim Rohn's the other 30 minutes. That's personal development. The only reason Tony Robbins is on my list, he's amazing. I'm not saying he's better than Jim Rohn. I'm not saying Jim Rohn is better than him, but I have listened to 
at least 1,000 hours of Jim Rohn. So I've heard everything he has to say. And I'm still going to listen to him every single day. Because I'm, I might find something that I've missed before. You know what I'm saying? So I got to listen to him every day. And I still find myself, you know, hearing things that maybe I missed or understanding something in a, in a different way. But Tony, Tony Robbins is, is my number one right now because I have not heard all of the stuff that he has to offer. So he's number one. But 30 minutes each person. That's two hours a day. Now, I was listening to him today and he said it's he do, it's net time. So listening to something is, is he started listening to audios for net time. So it's not it's not um, affecting your time. That's net time, not affecting time or something like that. Meaning if you're listening to an audio, you can do other things while you're listening to it and still absorb the information. If I'm working out, my workout takes an hour. I can knock off Les Brown and Tony Robbins in that hour. If I'm shoveling, I got to do the dishes, got to throw out the trash. Shoveling takes like 10 minutes. Doing the dishes takes like 10 minutes. Throwing out the trash, five minutes, whatever. Do an ab workout, another five minutes. Now I'm done with another 30 minutes. I only got 30 minutes left. Clean up. Um, I don't know, like while I'm writing my day down, while I'm stretching, stuff like that. I'm able to get all that two hours done. I know it sounds like a lot, but you can get it done while doing other things. It's not that you're not fully listening to it or nothing. You're just... You're listening to it while you're doing other things. It's the primary focus and the other things are the secondary focus. So if I know what I got to clean up, I can clearly listen to it while I'm throwing this stuff away. Like I'm listening to it in the bag, throw this in the garbage, fold this up, make my bed. I just started making my bed. I always thought it was kind of dumb, but it does teach you discipline. So I started doing that every day. Um, as you can see, I'm saying it doesn't look like great, but it's still made. But yeah, um, back to the point of the video. So I listen to those, all those people for at least two hours a day, 30 minutes a pop for people, two hours. And it just makes my day much better. It gives me ideas. It gives me energy. It gives me life. It gives me purpose. It gives me motivation. It, it lets me know every single day that I matter. It lets me know every single day I could do whatever I want as long as I work hard and achieve it. It lets me know every single day that I should be doing something that I'm passionate about. And it just brings that fire into me, yo, like, I love making YouTube videos. I know I haven't been too consistent um, since I've been back in Chicago or whatever this new year, blah, blah, blah. And I was trying to figure out why. And it was like, I don't like making videos if I don't have my, my passion, yo. Like right now, I feel like I sound kind of passionate because I am passionate. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like making videos if I'm not passionate, yo. Because then y'all, if I don't feel it, how the hell are y'all supposed to feel it? Jim Rohn said... Or uh, was that? No, that was Mark Hughes. Mark Hughes said, um, people are only going to be 20% as excited as you are about something. Which means that if I come on here and I'm only 20% excited, then y'all, 20%, y'all 4% excited. That's literally 1 minus 5. I mean, damn, 5 minus 1. That's not that excited at all. You know what I'm saying? So I got to come up here with fire yo like 500 percent so y'all could be 100 percent excited you feel me but i ain't gonna do a video like that if i'm not if i'm not feeling it and you know i don't know i might be a little tired or whatever i'm a little tired right now but i'm not gonna i, I, I i'm feeling it though i got the passion right now i got the energy i know i'm tired i'm physically tired just got done with a workout you know what i'm saying i just got done with a workout but like look if you're looking for the bathroom it's over there okay <clears throat> anyways back to the point start your day off with personal development motivational speeches, something that's going to get you sparked up, yo. And some days I just wake up and I don't necessarily need it. But today I really did need it. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of motivation is going to come from inside of you. You shouldn't have to have to listen to something like this to pump you up because it's going to pump you up every day. Jim Rohn said, pump them up, pump them up. It's, it's going to come from you and your goals and you writing stuff down and you, you know, doing stuff for the future and stuff like that but it helps so much and it helps so much yo on the days that you don't want to do anything because today was one of those days for me and i did my duolingo i do that there's you can get like xp on the app so i do like 300 xp a day or whatever i'm, I'm on top of the leaderboard by the way i'm number one Fuck you, talking about. um you know i didn't want to do that i didn't want to listen to the people but i'm already done listening to two of them i'm listening to the third one right now um i didn't want to go to the gym i went to the gym did my thing i didn't want to do the jump rope i did the jump rope I didn't want to do my core. I did my core. I don't want to do the dishes, but I'm about to go do the dishes. I don't want to throw out the Like, today's just one of those days where I don't want to do it, yo. So I highly encourage it if anybody needs anybody that, like, they need someone that they can listen to or something like that. Just let me know. I got you. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope y'all liked it. Um, Like, actually liked it. But like, subscribe, share it to your homies, all that good stuff. And I'm gone.